Have you ever wondered why I still used critical build on Melissa instead of the Trinity build? Here's why. Actually, I use this kind of build depends on the lineup of the enemy. In this game only Hylos is the most sustainable opponent, and the rest is easy to pick off. I just only need to build either Demon Hunter Sword or the Malefic Roar. Since it's early make sure to prioritize Corrosion Scythe of all time and then follow the rest. Thank you. One of the best strategy to ahead in terms of gold against on your opponent is to hold the minions and make sure to get the last hit on every minions. My life, my choice. If only she could be with me now. Your turn, though. Didn't your mother ever tell you? Never get too close to needles. <laughs> Since we successfully pick off Layla, it's my chance to farm more gold. Another assessed. <laughs> Since Hylos is coming on his way here on top lane, let's make sure back off before they gank me. Layla thought that I didn't notice his ally on the bush until... Once you want to gank using Melissa make sure to throw her second skill first and follow first skill and ultimate if necessary. The distance between life and death is shorter than my By the way guys, after Corrosion Scythe follow the Wind Talker for more attack speed plus movement speed and deal critical in every 3 seconds. In this game Selena is my most annoying opponent, that's why I decided to build Rose Gold after the Demon Hunter Sword.
Your turn, Mo. Annoyances? You got me! 